70% chance of development pretty much over the next 24 hours. That's when we're going to be seeing some of the heaviest rain from this tropical wave in Vest 91L. When currently at 30 miles per hour, it is moving at the west at about 14 miles per hour. So the speed of the system is on our side to keep it weaker because it doesn't have a lot of time in the Gulf of Mexico. But the Gulf of Mexico is hot. Convection really starting to ramp up. One thing that is also against this system is we do have some Saharan dust that is working some drier air into it. But you can see it's not inhibiting it too much as convection is continuing to look fairly healthy out there. Convection is that storm development. So we're seeing showers and storms and clouds growing in the Gulf of Mexico. Tropical timeline for us. Monday afternoon we may see an isolated shower, but Tuesday morning is when our flooding risk and our high wind risk is going to be at its greatest. By Tuesday afternoon, scattered storms, isolated downpours will continue to linger in the area, but it won't be widespread like it will be Tuesday morning. Then Wednesday, it becomes very isolated with a few storms still in the area possibly. So breaking it all down on future cast, still expecting some hot temperatures high around 99 to 100 degrees. A little bit more cloud coverage may keep us slightly cooler, but overall still very hot. We have heat advisories in place across our coastal counties. Taking a look at that rain, this is when we could see an isolated shower as early as Monday afternoon, but most likely Monday evenings when we start to see more of that rain moving in. Starting off light, not too much early on, but as we head into Tuesday night, so pretty much from midnight to 7 a.m., things are going to start to increase in activity. We're talking widespread rain right about the time you're going to want to be heading out the door. So have a backup plan to maybe delay uh, some of those early morning activities or plans or just traveling to work or so forth because this is when it's going to be the heaviest rain, the highest wind, and the greatest risk for power outages or street flooding. That's going to be about 7 a.m across the coastal bend. As we continue on, it's going to become a little bit more isolated scattered as that activity moves inland. So we'll see the heaviest rain around Hebronville to George West by noon, but some some feeder bands are may set up and keep some areas seeing even higher rainfall totals through the afternoon. By Wednesday morning, that's when activity remains starts to turn really isolated and we could still see an isolated storm Wednesday, but activity decreases rather quickly by then. As far as rainfall goes, I did bump up the rainfall chances this morning. I'm going two to four inches for areas to the south. Uh, so pretty much Nueces County and south of there. Localized higher rainfall totals will be possible. Some areas even within here may see lower rainfall to totals, but overall it looks like a good chance for two to four inches for Nueces County, Jim Wells County, Duval County, Clayburgh County, and especially Kennedy County. One to two a little further north towards San Patricio County and then Refurio, Ranzas, B County, George West, likely uh, around a quarter of an inch, maybe even less. Uh, as far as what you need to know, timing again Monday night into Tuesday rain one to four inches isolated higher totals are going to be likely winds 25 to 35 miles per hour sustained I'm even seeing some signs of some gusts 50 to 60 miles per hour and that is when we could deal with power outages along the coast 5 to 10 foot waves so this system again where exactly the center sets up may shift some of those rainfall totals further south or further north but regardless, we are going to get the rain here because of the way this high pressure is set up. But look as it moves further south as we head into the week ahead of us. Well, that is going to increase our temperatures once again. So with the heavy rain in the morning and still lingering into the afternoon, isolated temperatures will likely stay potentially in the 80s for the first time since the last time we saw rain back in June, really heavy rainfall at least. As we continue throughout the week ahead, you will notice those temperatures heat right back up into the weekend as high pressure dominates Texas forecast once again.